What's up guys? Today's video is going to be talking about workout frequency and what's worked best for me. Throughout my years of training, I've lifted every day all the way down to two days a week. And like I say in most videos, how many times you work out a week is going to depend on your goals. The needs of an athlete versus someone just training to put on more muscle and look better are going to be totally different. If you're just focused on building muscle, you truly could get away with just two days a week. Now, in those two training sessions, you would really have to push yourself close to failure and do multiple sets per muscle group. So that training session would probably take over an hour, if not an hour and a half, just from all of the volume you would need to do, but you could do it in two days a week. And it would look something like this. Monday could be upper, Thursday could be lower. On your upper day, you could do two exercises for chest and two exercises for back. Bench press, incline dumbbell bench, pull-ups, and inverted rows. If you did five sets with five to 10 reps for each, that puts you in a good range for growth. Research is showing that 10 sets plus a week for each muscle group is all you really need to make gains. So if you have some more energy, throw in some bicep and tricep accessory movements and you could even get more volume. And then for your lower day, you could do squats, split squats, Romanian deadlift and Nordic curls. And that's a complete two day a week workout that's simple to follow. And obviously you don't have to follow those exact exercises. You could do those for 12 weeks, a couple months, and then you know rotate, switch up to avoid overuse. But that is a solid two day a week routine. You could stick to that for the next year and focus on adding weight and I could guarantee that will get you further in terms of visual and strength gains than someone who just program hops and does the next six day a week workout from an Instagram influencer that's on juice. Fitness is so simple once you learn the fundamentals. If you're just training to be stronger and healthier overall like me, it's get stronger on key movements, focus on good form, get enough weekly volume, and just be consistent. Consistency beats intensity every time with training. Going all out for a few months and burning out is nothing compared to being consistent for the next few years. Continue to show up for every training session whether you feel like it or not. So if two days a week is enough, then why would you train more? Like I said, it's all about your goals. Most people are gonna train more to get more results, which is somewhat true, but there is a limit to how much volume you can do. For me, I train upper lower four days a week, sometimes three. If I'm having a good week and I'm not busy, then I'll train four, but most weeks lately have just been three. So I'm gonna mainly focus on the bench, squat, and deadlift, and then if I do lift that fourth day, it's gonna be an overhead press hypertrophy day like I talked about in my last video. Why not just train two days? If the start of this video, I said two days is fine, and that's because with four days, I can get more total volume. I mentioned that 10 sets is all you need for growth, but that's probably gonna be like the minimum volume to get growth. Anything above that, you're probably gonna see more gains. So you could go from anywhere from 10 to 20 sets per muscle group, and I think I normally land in like the 12 to 15 range. So yes, 10 sets is a good starting point, but a bit more could yield more results. So if you don't care about maximizing results and it taking a bit longer to reach your physique goals, you can do less volume. Cause that's really gonna be the purpose of people wanting to be in the gym more and doing more volume is you're thinking you're gonna get to your goal faster, which is somewhat true. I also just enjoy training. I enjoy being in the gym. I enjoy pushing myself and being on a routine, throwing on some good music and just getting in my zone. The gym has always been like meditation for me and a good way for me to really stress. Each of my workouts consists of training heavy and hypertrophy work after. So two days a week would be ideal for someone who is super busy and wants to do the minimum to stay in good shape. You could also do three days rotating upper lower. So first week is upper lower upper and next is lower upper lower repeat. What's wrong with six days then? In order for me to train six days a week, I would have to severely lower my intensity and volume. There's no way I could train the way I currently do six days a week. Recovery is also extremely important as to why training less is better for me. Three to four days a week leaves me with three plus days to get rest in order to grow. Training six days, you're consistently stressing your body and for what? You can't do unlimited volume. Eventually you're going to hit your limit to where more is not better. If you're just training to look better and get stronger, what's the rush? I want to train for the rest of my life, not max myself out and end up getting injured. This is where pushing yourself too much can lead to overuse, 
injuries, and overall strength loss. So you actually could end up regressing by doing more. Now you end up injured, having to build back up, and then you just continue to repeat the cycle when you could have just took your time, stayed consistent, and not rushed the process. So if you just absolutely have to be in the gym six days a week for your mental health, and it's something that you enjoy, make sure you're not going crazy with the volume, you're keeping your workout short, and you're not pushing your limits every session. Every workout doesn't have to involve weights. You could do some calisthenics, mobility work, and even cardio on the non-training days. This is speaking all from my experience and my perspective. Maybe you thrive on more days a week than me. If so, keep doing what you're doing. If you're struggling to stay motivated in the gym or you just need help with your training in any way, I'm now offering one-on-one -on -one online coaching. This is going to include an initial call to discuss your training goals and just answer any questions you may have, meal plan and nutrition guidance, form coaching, customized programming with weekly updates, and more. So if that's something you're interested in, check out the description. Like always, I appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.